this device has kept Mr. Craig Lewis, a 55-year-old man with cardiac amyloidosis who had his heart removed and replaced by these two pumps, alive now for 12 days and continuing to do better. I recall uh, 42 years ago when we attempted uh, to use a total artificial heart for the first time uh, in a human patient. And uh, this initial success there was, I think, a milestone for the first time it demonstrated that uh, human patients uh, could be completely supported by a totally uh, artificial device. While this is not the end of the story, it's a very important uh, a milestone paragraph in the story, and my heartiest congratulations, guys. They're much smaller, they're much more robust, and they work really beautifully to support a weak left heart, but no one had ever used one to replace a heart or used two of them to replace both sides of the heart. So we realized there was going to be some arts and crafts involved. We would actually take the Dacron, put it over the, the form, and then wrap it in fiberglass tape and, and silicone. And originally we were using stuff from Home Depot, you know, uh, uh, tile caulk from the bathroom uh, department and drywall tape. And uh, the beauty of these continuous flow pumps, there's really two things at the obvious size but they don't wear out. We haven't had one to wear out, so it behave, they behave like the natural heart, which is one of the reasons why, to me, this is the only hope long-term for a, a really totally implantable artificial heart that we can take off the shelf and spare patients uh, like Mr. Lewis uh, premature death. So this is a milestone in cardiovascular history, in our opinion. It's a great step forward, and it's a great tribute to Dr. Cooley and Dr. Frazier and Dr. Cohn and their teams. Let me just read a statement from the family of Mr. Craig Lewis. This is the patient, and they ask that we read this here today. This is a quote. We feel very blessed that the doctors at the Texas Heart Institute at St. Luke's Episcopal Hospital, the whole team, are able to use their God-given talents to continue to help people like Craig in this situation. We hope he continues to get better. Thank you.